What's going on YouTube, Aaron here, and today's video is going to be Gotcha. Because, I mean, aside from obviously you saying there's no real um, evidence to have him tied to this other than unfortunately being tied to Kagan, who is, for lot, you know, without a doubt, at least tied to, to this case to some degree with the communication, it sounds like in the, in the first call, your main reason for believing that Tony couldn't have been involved in this case was because of the physical impairments. Um, you know, you had mentioned him having a hunting license and hunting from his car and just being, mm -hmm. you know, not being super able. And, it, it, you know, I don't think that necessarily so, the person so, who committed so, this crime would have been able to, would those, have had to have uh, been able to so run four miles a day, you know, so. The, the, the impairments of, of him happened after the murders. But, right. So, I mean, that would even mean right. more so but that he would be more about, available. We're also talking about a 285 pound man who yeah. has... Have you seen the photo of him next to the, it looks like a Lamborghini or a Porsche or something, yeah. the yellow one? Yep, yep. I mean, he doesn't yeah. look insanely overweight there. I mean, obviously, it doesn't take, it, it's... He wears a 3 or 4X shirt. Everything on him is baggy. You really wouldn't look at him and think that he is as obese as he is, but he's a big boy. Right, person. right. He, I mean, he, def he definitely looks like a, a bigger guy for sure, but I, I'm not seeing like a, a bowling ball. Like if we saw somebody that looked like a, you know... Uh, an exercise ball in the torso mm -hmm. that it would be like, oh, well, that that absolutely could not be this this guy. But when you pair right. that photo of him next to the yellow car, to the photo on the bridge, and and once again, I'm mm -hmm. I'm just kind of I just look at all of this and I'm like, huh, I'm interested just to kind of look at everything. So the it's like told me the, the the police told me the guy in the down the hill video goes anywhere from a 165 to 200 pounds. Okay. Max five nine five eight. Tony six one two sixty. Okay. Yeah, I think there was a few people that went out there to do the, the overlaid images where they were standing on the bridge right. to see how tall. And I think, yeah, I, right. I can't, can't quite, I don't that, know the exact it. height that they were they were thinking. But. but those are unfair comparisons by any imagination because there's just perspective and range. Photos can just do everything. Again, I'm not standing up for the guy. I'm not trying to, to say no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm just saying... There's got to be some sort of level of doubt. Oh, I mean, for sure. I think everyone, but I think right. it can it can come across as, you know, guilty by, you know, guilty in the public's eye because of this one yeah. thing or whatever. And, and I think that it, and at the end of the day, it. there's a lot of doubt still in a lot of people's minds because it's like we're just looking at what we have in front of us. And, and, and really, there's there's way more to all of this. Um, there, there probably is. But I if there was teeth to this, they would have done it, especially with them, too. If there was what? Sorry. There's, 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 no, there's no teeth to this. There's no physical evidence that ties either one of those guys to this double homicide. Yeah. I think the thing with Kagan is that a lot of people think that there's there's no doubt that he's not involved in some way, whether or not he wasn't. I mean, you know, he could have just even been, he, he could have just shared if, information, right? Even if, his, even, even if his phone was the last phone to be in communication with one of the two girls, they're not saying where they have all of the pings from the cell phone towers right yeah of where of where all those were coming from i if think that either, they're go ahead if 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 any of those were within 10 miles of delphi indiana they would have them in custody mm -hmm. either either or of them it's just it's not there now that's what was told to me the only thing that they're holding kagan in on is cp right yeah, and I mean, I'm sure that they're absolutely and, and, looking into any possibility that there right. you know, there could have been. Because I think ultimately, you cannot you cannot deny the fact that it is wildly suspicious that his, he was one of the last or the last person to speak. Could have been pure coincidence, but I think they are in a position of power, knowing that he is in for this specific crime, to where he's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. They can continue to look into if there was any communication with him, for example, with someone else that could have been involved. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think it's just like I said in the last conversation, it's. Uh, it's really unfortunate that they that they got tied into it in this way, and I think, I think it would be, also naive to, uh, to not assume that people would be like, "Wow, this looks really bad," and then right. when you dig up the actual, the past of Tony Klein, obviously it, that that is does, the past, but, I, but it, it looks but I really tell bad. You this. His his social circle, and I'm talking about his Facebook friends, his work friends, his social friends that he's known for thirty and forty years, has not diminished. He's not a, he's not sheltering in place, hiding like a coward. 
he is walking up and down, quote unquote, walking up and down. He is. I thought you said things. he was kind of sheltered and he only has his mother and you to talk to. I mean, well, I mean, he does. He's not. What I'm saying is that he's not spending 23 hours a day inside his house wondering if people think he's a double murderer or not. Those are those are words that he has said recently to me. That's the farthest right. thing on his mind. He's like, I don't give a fuck. He's like, I, I have been cleared. I have been cleared twice. Right. Well, that's, I mean, that's good. I'm. Yeah, I. Yeah, I guess I'm so, just. It's just it's the circumstantial evidence that that has Kagan in jail. It has the suspicion of Pony with a eyebrow raised, if you will, because of the things that Kagan has said in his jailhouse interview, throwing his dad under the bus. Yeah. They have every text message that they they have from all the devices, all the pings from every tower. Yeah, they have everything. Gotcha, gotcha. It, 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 and, and just what I'm, what basically what I'm boiling this, boiling, boiling this down to, is when people who are putting these videos up and trying to be, you know, unsolved mysteries. And, and I'll use the term you guys, the, the producers of these videos, they're throwing what they have up on the screen, and then it's the comments who are trying to, oh, it's him, it's him. Why isn't he in custody? Let's, you know, burn him at the stake. Come on, let's get, let's get this done and over with. It's been five years, you know, immediate crucifixion, and right. it's wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. It's like any time someone the news is on, right, and people are going to have their yep. opinions on what's being said, and, and that's just where it goes to show, like, everyone is going to take it and, and interpret it a certain way or feel about, you know, this a certain way. I think it's very irresponsible for the people to post things that, or, or post things without saying ahead of time, this is my opinion, or this is allegedly, allegedly. what I have with people, but I can't control what people think of something, right? And so those, nope, those I, conversations I that do unfold in the chat and, and beyond are inevitable, right? Because it's just people are it. taking it in and they, they run with it. And so, yep. um, I guess, I, and I don't want to say I, I'm having a hard time believing your relationship with Tony because I do, but I'm having a hard time understanding the actual timeline of the relationship and where you were just kind of unaware of certain things. And then, like I said, even after having to go talk to law enforcement and hearing about mm -hmm. his past, even if it has nothing mm -hmm. to do with this current thing we're talking about now, like why mm -hmm. you would want to associate yourself in any way, shape or form. I'm just having a hard time. Like, I guess kind of even believing that you speak to him as much as you say you do or very much so. In fact, I just got off of the phone with him before I called you. He called me. Okay. So is he aware that you're speaking with, people online nope. about he this no, or he has no idea i told him only one time that i sp spoke to someone in the general in the gen most general of terms about things that were being said or posted online i never mentioned anything about videos or or anything of the sort as far as he knows it's somebody that i'm talking to physically not virtually. Gotcha. Okay, so like for instance, the the call. I have to keep right it in the. I have to keep this. it in, in. I have to keep it in the most generalities, because if he does hear this conversation, then I put myself, and also as a police witness, in jeopardy. So how how so with that exactly? I can't tell you any more than that. Gotcha. So it, it hmm. there are there are just things that I've been that I have I can say without tipping my hands of my of my identity. And if this conversation gets out and Tony hears it, then he can listen to it. He might pick up on a nuance or pick up on a background noise 
or anything of the effect, things that I might say that I have a bad habit of saying and repeating, and putting myself in jeopardy. Hmm. I don't want to dissuade his trust in me. Also, I need to keep him close in case he does happen to be a little bit more forthright if something else comes out that I can take to the state police. So you're like not a hundred percent. You're, you're, you're saying that there could be a possibility and that you would absolutely run with that information in the right direction. I've already told them that that is the case that I would do that if that happened. Yeah. Cause it, cause I guess I'm just confused as to why you would even talk to me in the first place then if you were potentially concerned about it getting to him or him hearing you in this. Obviously, your voice would be altered if I do end up posting this, but it's just like, you know what I mean? It's confu- I'm just confused, your, kind yours of. Was, yours, your, uh, yours was the only one I reached out to because you were more accessible. You had You had Twitter accessibility. Gotcha. And I wasn't going to reach out to anybody else like the murder sheets or anything like that i don't want to get tangled up into that web i know there's one person and it's you gotcha okay huh so the other i mean the last not the last thing but the, one of the bigger things that stood out and i i don't know if it was a slip up or, or if you said two or three but you said that he at least had called you twice then that night on monday is that correct on 8, the, state PM? Police asked, the state police, the first question they asked me was, would you have any idea why on, was it February 13th or 14th or whatever it is, at 8 p.m. in the evening, why Tony would have called you two times within one minute? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I have no idea. It's not to say that it's uncommon I could have been doing something. I could have been in bed. I could have been in the shower. I could have been. I could have been doing a multitude of things. Mm-hmm. So I have no clear-cut answer for that. At five years past the point. Right. So in terms of directly after, like say the morning after or the next day, did you see mm-hmm. like, oh, I have two calls that I missed or did you follow no. up? Hey, I saw I no. missed two calls from you within a minute. Um, no. Everything okay? You know, that kind of thing. He, and, may have, he may have called me a third time at nine o'clock. I was never notified about that. Notified as in like you never saw it on the phone but or they told you? They, they No, the, the state, what I'm saying is that the, the state police never told me that he called me a third time at, you know, 8.20, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Never okay. said anything to me about the fact. I could have called him, but I don't know that. I haven't checked my phone records. Yeah, I think you would have been asked about it also if you had called him, right? They would have been like, hey. Well, I would have. I would assume so. They, yeah. they had my phone in custody for three days, so... Mm-hmm. Trying yeah. to get everything that they could, all the communication and anything else that they could get from him to me. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the the two calls thing. I mean, I didn't know if it if there was significance there. Obviously, they they asked you about it, and my my big thing was just wondering if he had followed up with you about why. But then again, if if you had spoken no, to him is, often, this is somebody. Yeah, this is somebody that it's not uncommon. I think I may have spoken to him at least maybe two or three times today. So why would you have talked to him three times today? That's just what he does. I got another buddy of mine that calls me at least five or six times a day. That's a lot of time to just... I'm a popular guy. I'm, my phone rings maybe 150 times a day. It's not uncommon for me to go through three batteries in you know 10 hours gotcha 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 okay okay um did you go to jerry leroy's funeral 
Lee Ricard? No. no. Was this a time that you were not as close with Tony, or what was No, it? I don't socialize in public uh, in close quarters. COVID scares me to death. And gotcha. there's a... Uh, that that's just almost too private you know that didn't have anything to do with me and yeah i just didn't know I, I how love, close you guys were no. at that at that point and if that was a thing that had happened so. no I, I i from what i was told he had a nice turnout but that's you know i wasn't his father's friend i was his friend and i just thought that that was just a little too familiar and it was a little bit further the funeral from what i understand was a little bit further of a drive than being in my hometown Mm -hmm. it was out of town yeah gotcha do you think tony do you think you were one of the only people maybe that was friends with him or knew of him that was also surprised by the fact that he had this wife and and children or do you think he was keeping it from you specifically? Like, do you think there were a lot of people that found out I, through I, all of this? I, I oh, wow. That, I had no that, idea. No, I, I, that's speculation. That's speculation at best. I have no idea. Gotcha. So no one else that you are aware of that's friends with him came out during all of this and said, gosh, I didn't know about that either. You know, like I really, I, I really don't talk to anybody else inside his inner circle like no one you ride with or anything like that that was confused by the info no i, I no work no ex-work associates were gotcha just leaving just you know two different people in two different social circles yeah and i, I know you'd mentioned that that you're yeah they, they didn't quite overlap entirely but yeah, yeah i don't even i don't even speak to his sister and i'm closer with him with her than i am with him and wait with about sister? any of this i'm i, I tony's sister I'm closer with her than I am with him. Currently or at that point, like during? At that, uh, well, I mean, I might have seen her. I don't see her near as often as I used to. So there's probably a good 10 years where I haven't spent more than 30 minutes with her. So. But you're currently closer to her than Tony? We were and are classmates. So does we she do call you like multiple socially. times a day? No, or? no, no, no. There is no phone calls or anything like that. We see each other at social events. But I thought you don't go to things. I, I'm just confused. I, I'm just a little bit well, confused. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not out in, in, in doing something every day, mm-hmm. multiple times a day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I might see her at the five-year reunion, the ten-year reunion, <laughs> right? Or okay. if one of our classmates dies, we see each other. If we're going to something, I might run to her at church, something like that. Gotcha. You gotcha, know, gotcha. okay. There could be three times in a month, and then five years could go by and never see her. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I have to go. Something's happening. Um, okay. I got to go. Thank you. Yeah. That was strange. Uh, (laughs) Hmm. Got to go. Something's happening.